Hey folks, what's going on? Clutch here. Welcome back to Georgetown. We are setting up and getting some fertilizer today. We got some spraying to do. We got some fertilizing to do here on Georgetown. Uh, we've got everything kind of set up. We're at the eggway. Just loading up. I'm just grabbing a couple more bins out of the uh, the back here. They've got a bunch stored here. So just bought my, what do we got? Eight? Eight bins? We're good to go. Eight tubs of fertilizer ready to go. Let's get jump in the truck. We'll head back to the farm and get going. All right, folks. Let's do this thing. Pitter patter. <laughs> Another beauty day here out in Georgetown, folks. Look at that. Sun is up. A uh, few clouds in the sky, but you know what? Generally speaking, it looks pretty good out there. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh, man. Just pull up to the farm here. Let's go pull around the front, and uh, we've got to fill the sprayer up. Oh, the old sprayer. We've got the... It's an ancient sprayer, guys. We need to We need to get that thing running today. Uh, get out there and spray well. We've got, a, we've got a field right here, and then we've got a couple that are well up on the hillside back there as well. We've got to do both of those. It, we got a lot of spraying to do today. I think the best place for all this stuff for storage is going to be this back winter shop for now. We'll just stick it way in the back here and uh, we can pull that little trailer around here. Oh, it's a little rough right there. Wow. We did smooth that out. Uh, back in this back winter shop is probably the best spot, I think. We'll, we'll move them all inside there. Let me uh, go grab the tractor. The front loader and we'll uh, we'll do this. It's a little bit of work here, but eh, shouldn't take us too, too long. If I can get this straightened out, that is. There we go. That's better. All right, well, let's fire up the new 180. Oh, man. Looks good, looks good. Let's go. Yeah, the only thing that we have that can hold a front loader. I know, go figure. Uh, I'd love to have it on just a little one. I wish that little... I don't even know what the model number is on our small little Stara. I wish it would have the option of putting a front loader on, but yeah, of course, that's not a thing. Uh, that's not possible. <laughs> of course not. So I'm stuck using, well, the biggest one we have. Um... I mean, I like this tractor. It's just, it's, uh, it would be nice to be able to do this with a smaller tractor instead of using a big one. But what, you know what? Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. As long as I could aim that properly, that would be a whole other nice issue. Why am I, what am I hitting? Get in there. Okay. 70th try. There we go. That, that's, that's a little better. Why is this so heavy? What is going on? Huh? How much do they put in here? Um, this has got to be the heaviest fertilizer jug in, in the league right now. What the heck? What did they fill this? Is it full of lead? I mean, come on, man. All right, problem solved. Um, I just had to go buy or find our little uh, 2,400 kilogram weight. Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, maybe it's a good thing that the little Stara uh, doesn't have the front loader. It would never be able to pick up this thing. <laughs> Something's wrong with this. That's for sure. That doesn't make any sense. So like I said, for today, guys, we got to come back here with our fertilizer trailer and uh, get to work filling that thing up. We've got a little bit of spraying left to do. I haven't... We haven't finished fertilizing yet, and uh, we've got a little more time before, well, we can, we'll be able to harvest those fields. Once it gets closer, um, then obviously it's not a good chance to fertilize. So we got to make sure we get in there today. Oh, if I could get that lined up, that'd be nice. There we go. Perfect. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Perfect. Um, yeah, so we'll get that done today. We've got, I think, three... Yeah, three of the fields definitely need to be fertilized. Uh, we did get one done earlier, but we still have a few left to go, of course. So I do have one minor problem. It is, uh, it's supposed to rain tonight. Probably should get my hands on a pellet fertilizer spreader instead of what we're doing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I want to get this thing going. I'll get at least one field done today. Um, I'm expecting to call back from the Stara dealer to see what they've got. <sighs> I've got some other options, I think. We'll see. We'll get started, though. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll spray first, and then hopefully we can switch that over. But right now, this is what I'm kind of stuck with. Oh, speaking of which, i got to change some wheels over. we got to bring the small one over. Let me uh, park this out of the way. Yeah, that's just going to uh, wreck a bunch of my, my canola, so we don't want that. There we go. Let's fire this on up. So we'll need to get some pellet fertilizer at some point here, but I don't have a way of spreading it quite yet, guys. That has got to be uh, something we take care of. And unfortunately, I'm running out of time before the rain comes. And uh, I want to make sure this gets taken care of today. All right, up we go. Perfect. Oh, easy, easy. I hope I got it lined up. Yeah, there we go. Good. All right, guys, we got to switch out these tires and uh, put some some uh, road tracks on her. Just so we uh, well, we don't damage all of our crops. Um, Can I put this lift at like halfway? This is... This is way too high for me. I just need to get the tires off the ground. Oh, well. Let's grab what we can get. 
uh fire up the compressor and let's get to work all right 105's got the uh, road tracks on let's get going let's get out of here let's uh go pick up the sprayer all right so my hope is we can change the spray sprayer so it's just a herbicide sprayer uh we won't do any liquid fertilizing hopefully we can we can get away with that and then from there we can actually pick up a proper a proper pellet fertilizer spreader oh there we go I mean, the sprayer is ancient. Um, it's this homemade job we, we had uh, that we built the other last year just to kind of get us into it before, well, we started making all sorts of cash from our other dealerships. But, uh, I mean, it does a decent job. It's just, it, it's kind of, it's kind of beat, guys. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Uh, there's no amount of cleaning that's going to fix this thing, that's for sure. Hooked up. Let's take her on back. You know what? <clears throat> we got to pull this right in right into that shed i think uh, i got the pump back there and we'll just pump all that fertilizer straight on in we should be good to go and then we can get into that field hopefully you know what i don't think i've tried did we pull it with this i don't remember anymore i hope this 105 can handle it oh, she's rough perfect and back her on in excellent there's not much else in this shop yet we're still setting this up like i said this is going to be our winter storage shop for most the most part and then once that's up and running then we'll uh we'll talk but for the most part it's just a storage shed for us let's see here what do we got left oh yeah okay let's pump all these in uh we'll probably only take i think it's two we can fit in here off the top of my head and uh and by two i i mean one that's that's it it only takes one I, I, yeah don't ask me math is hard sometimes um anyways guys let's get going we gotta get up in the field and get a rock and roll here and by two i just i just really mean one yeah one's one's more than enough <laughs> it's more than enough uh let's get going here let's get up in the field get this sprayed and uh hopefully we can get a phone call soon enough find out what we're gonna do for an update like i said we're we got rain coming and i keep on hearing that this new variety of our uh, our pellet fertilizer is way better for our canola so hopefully we can get that on the ground instead but for now let's just spray and and hope for the best we'll see you know what we'll see what happens if we can get this done today uh if we can get that pellet fertilizer brought out today then that'll be uh we'll be able to test and see what gives us the better yield i suppose i'm kind of behind the eight ball a little bit here we've been a little bit slow well maybe because we built this massive farmhouse with our massive cliff there that might have something to do with why we're behind on schedule but you know what that doesn't that didn't take that much time let's be honest let's, let's be honest and for our next question is actually can can the 105 handle pulling this all the way up the hill i think it, i think it can right should be able to we'll open this on up you know what this is not a bad sprayer in the grand scheme of things guys it's just it's, it's a little bit dated that's all it's a little bit dated let's uh let's go here turn this on boom all right looks good looks good looks good all right 105 get up the hill oh yeah lots of power kind of it, it, it power i don't know what lots lots might be a bit of a exaggeration but we, we've got enough power to get up the hill, I suppose. Um, yeah, it, it'll work. Yeah, it's not so bad. Okay. All right, fine. I'll, I'll give it credit where, credit where credit's due. It's doing what we need to do, guys. So we've got to get around this field a couple of times. Not exactly a, the, the biggest field anymore. We, we might have cut into it a, a little bit with our, our cliff side. Um, it, it only took out a, a little bit. Uh, not a whole bunch. It's definitely noticeable. But, yeah, um, it's kind of an eyesore from down here, I, I might have to say. It looks good from the top, though. That's really all that matters. Really? Right? Right? I mean, look at this. <laughs> I don't think I've come down this side of it since we built it. Um, yeah, that's craziness. Uh, I do. I actually kind of like it. Just this massive rock wall. I didn't even see how they managed to, to make that into that. Uh, I mean, it was just a bunch of dirt moving. They kind of put like a, it's like a concrete mix of some sort to hold it all together. I, I don't mind it. I, I'll, I'll live with it. That's all right. I can take that. But this used to be all field, of course, beforehand. And instead, now it's about two million bucks worth of dirt. Um, two million dollars in dirt. A little less. But, hey, you know what? It looks good. I like it. I like how you, you know what? It's all right. It's all good. I just wish we could have a little more texturing into the, uh, the wall itself. I don't know. Maybe some... Maybe we need to put like some uh, some artistic designs on the wall. Someone do some painting for me. We have any graffiti artists around? That would be interesting. Oh, guys, we just got the call from uh, the Stara dealer. He's on his way here. He's going to be dropping off some new equipment for me, as well as he's going to throw a bunch of uh, uh, pellet fertilizer around here for me as well. Those all be dropped off. 
Uh, he's going to got some tests for me. He says, well, we're, it'll be a demo unit for the time being. We'll give it a ch chance to look at it because I was a little skeptical because you know what? You know how I am with stars, right? It's a bit of a love-hate relationship right now. It's, it's better than it was about a year ago, but it's still, I, I'm still not fully trusting these guys. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out, but uh, we got a star up, another star up. Now we have had a, t a star up sprayer in the past. And I think you might remember how well that went. Uh, yeah, Star of Sprayers. Oh man, I, I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for good things. I'm hoping for good things, but I am not counting on it. That is for sure. Uh, you know what? We're, we're having decent luck with our equipment right now, but I, it's always waiting for that other foot to drop, I think, isn't it? Looks like we got a last little bit to do here. I just saw the Star of pull up uh, a nice big orange truck with a trailer on the back. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this. We'll have to see what it is. You know what? What's the, I guess, what's the worst that can happen, right? If it, if it's not quite right, then we'll just use this. We'll keep on using what we got going on here. This is, it keeps on plugging up on me. I'm not going to lie. I've had to stop like four times and unplug the, uh, and plug the sprayer guys. It keeps on, it's just, it's old and it's kind of, it, it's Mickey Mouse. It's, it's not, it's not great, but it's getting it done. So I can't complain too loudly. And if it, like I said, if this does not work, well, we can come back and use use this sprayer. This is always going to be an option for us. There's no point in us getting rid of this thing. It's worth nothing. And after a little bit of work, that's done. Yeah, like not too bad, not too bad. So let's fold this thing on up, get rid of this. And uh, let's go down and take a look and see what they dropped off. See if this is going to be a usable fertilizer spreader for us. Well, there it is. Uh, it looks a little different than the last one we had. Oh, we have the em Empador, I think is the name of that last one we had. What is this? The Herc the Hercules. Well, it's got quite the nose on it. Why are they always so ugly? Why? 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 I mean, it's got like the smile with it looks like a spider eyes with a big smile on it. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know what what else does this thing look like? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um Yeah, it's definitely a little bit different looking. Oh, like you dropped off two fertilizer bags. Did, why well that's gonna be fun for me to try to load up. Is there a is there like a pump that I can pump this with or do I have to lift these up and top? I have, I got nothing. I got to I got to lift these up somehow. Well, that that's going to be interesting. Um I'll take a look at that in a second. Other than that, looks like oh, okay. Well, that's the spreader back here. No arms? No arms it doesn't look like the hangout or anything like that. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what the spread swath is going to be on this. We'll have to wait and see or we'll have to take a look when we get out there. I think he said it does have a GPS unit on it. So there's at least that. So I don't have to Mickey Mouse around as much. Uh, let me hop on up. I'm, I like the fact... Oh, get up the stairs. Get up there. This catwalk goes all the way down here. And you can kind of get up on top and take a look inside the bin. Uh, we should probably open this up and take a look. Let me just jump in here. Where is the button on this? Where is it? There it is. Cool. Okay, yeah. There's lots of room for our pellet fertilizer back here. I don't know what kind of space it is. Each of these bags are what? Like 4,000 liters. I bet you a couple bags will probably be pretty close to filling this up. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right. Well, a demo unit for this summer. I can, I can live with this, guys. It's, it's a, it's a Stara. But, um, yeah, that's, that's still a thing, I suppose. Oh, not this again. Let's see if I have any better luck. Um, oh, we're going from the side here. He loaded these up. Oh, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Figure it out. You figure it out. You figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Up we go. Come on, get it up there. Nice. Over top the ledge. Can I go enough? Ah, we got lots of room. There we go. In we go. Excellent. Uh, not necessarily the, the best way, but hey, you know what? It's getting done. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. You would think there'd be a pump or something uh, to get this up here. This is, I mean, not exactly the safest or easiest way, but it, I mean, it's it's definitely it's doable. It's just a bit more of a pain. Um, how are we looking here? Get over that door. You know what? We got lots of room in here. This is, uh, why did he only give me, why did he only give me two? He should have given me a lot more. Come on. We got Gertie coming over right now as well. She's going to see if uh, she can fix the, uh, the sprayer for me. And in case we need that again, like I said, I think my plan, if this works out, if this, if this spreader works out and we get decent yield off these fields, I might switch to just permanently using fertilizer, pellet fertilizer, and then we can turn that into just a, uh, a herbicide sprayer. Instead of having to do double duty out of it, uh, that might be a good idea. All right, let's um, start this this up. All right, uh, Giants FM. Huh. 
That's a lot better than the radio station we usually have on, I bet. Let's get out here. Oh, boy. I'm not... Once again, it's the Star of Screen. Oh, I cannot stand it. I like the newer one a lot better. The new version is better. This one is the old version. I'm not a fan. Oh, we're gonna get the, the tarp. Get the tarp. There we go. Cool. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's get into this one. We got two fields I want to do with this thing. We'll see how this works out. Oh, man. Let's set the GPS up on this one. And uh, hopefully this works out as well as I'm hoping it does. Let's go. Fire it up. And good to go. Turn her on. Oh, there we go. All right. So it looks... Yeah, it says on the GPS control screen, we're going to get about a... Is it 15 meters? 18 meter swath, it looks like. Something along those lines. All right, pretty close to that. No adjustability on it, though. There's no adjustability for that. It'd be nice if we could get a bit more. But, well, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And and once again, it's this is a little bit easier to handle. I, I, prefer, I like handling the pellet fertilizer more than uh, liquid fertilizer for me. But yeah, guys, it seems it seems to be doing an all right job with that. All right, let's spin this back around and we will head on back down. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Oh, but some more orange team on this farm, guys. I know the star, the star king on Georgetown. Painful, painful, I know. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We're going to call it there. I've got some more fertilizing to do on one more field out here. We'll take care of that in a sec. But uh, I think we'll call it there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like. And of course, don't don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. You haven't done so already. And folks, I'm going to catch you next time. I, I'm not sure how much longer we can go with stars. This, oh, man. They're doing their job, but how much orange can you handle? <laughs> From Georgetown, this is Glutch. Over and out.